What's up, everybody? It's Chris with Dealcasters, and today we are talking about the Heil Sound Pro Set 3 Studio headphones. These are awesome, and uh, there's a few reasons why they're awesome. Uh, as you know, I am a bit of a weirdo, uh, super audiophile lover of uh, all things headphones. And so um, when I got these in from our friends at Heil that sent these to me uh, to do a uh, video like you see right here, I was stoked, uh, fired these things up, popped them on my ears, tested them out, and uh, newsflash, they're awesome. And so uh, here you go. I'm going to tell you first and foremost, these are made for comfort. They're made for you to be able to wear all day in a studio, in your podcast uh, studio, in your office, whatever you would be using these headphones for. Um, they're pretty amazing. I'm going to talk to you right uh, at the end of the video about the phase in and phase uh, out thing. This is something that um, is really uh, something that, yeah, for podcasting, live streaming, maybe not necessarily needed, uh, but does help when it comes to doing fatigue. In the box, you're, as always, you're going to get a thank you note from our friends at Heil Sound as well as a really cool sticker with that really cool uh, logo. I'm going to get this box uh, off of the desk and uh, just get into talking. I will say one thing that you need to know, uh, besides the comfort, uh, the quality of the build is really good. You could just, just having um, had multiple pairs of headphones uh, over the years, you just know when you've got uh, a good pair of headphones, uh, uh, you know, in good quality versus uh, some of this, you know, uh, I don't want to say cheap, but you know, this is really good quality. I will say this though, um, this right here, which you put on to, uh, to size does make a bit of an audible click. I'm going to hold these up, hold this up to the, uh, Heil PR 37 microphone that I've got right here and you'll be able to hear it. Okay, so the reason why I'm telling you that is because um, you're going to, if you're in a recording situation, you want to make sure that you're, you've got these adjusted or know that that might make an audible click that may, uh, for a sensitive microphone, it may pick uh, that particular sound up. Um, but, it, you know, the upside is it's, it's you know, obviously there's, there's really good quality stuff that's happening in there to allow, uh, to allow for that. But I thought I would mention that uh, as well. The comfort uh, on the top as well. Um, very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and put these on um, so you can kind of see um, how, how they, how they sort of look. They're considered on ear headphones and not over ear headphones. So like cans or whatever headphones that go over your ears. I have relatively smaller uh, ears, so they kind of do go over my ears. I don't have any fear of sound that would come out of these particular headphones and go back into my microphone, which is why a lot of people will use over ear headphones because they don't want that sound coming out and going back into uh, your particular recording. But um, the other thing I want to show you really quickly is just how soft these pads are, um, which is important for uh, for all day use. And you can see right here is where you will plug in your cables. And so we'll get into really quickly what you get in terms of uh, the cables. Um, you do get an adapter here. You're going to get this gold plated uh, adapter uh, for stereo and you get multiple cables. There's one here that's a coiled look, uh, which is very cool. And then you've got some other cables here. One is more for um, the Mac uh, and Apple devices. And then one is just more of a straight cable, which you can use as well for an adapter if you want to plug this into uh, some sort of quarter inch uh, female adapter. Uh, obviously this comes off and you could use this for one eighth, uh, which, you know, for a Rodecaster uh, Pro or uh, anything like that, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily uh, need this, uh, but, uh, you may need this for uh, particular headphones, um, uh, headphone amps and things like that. So from a studio perspective, you have versatility, which is key uh, for any of this. So um, I'll just really quickly talk to you about the, uh, the phase in and out. What this does is it switches your stereo, your left and right, um, what's called out of phase, uh, which helps for if you're a live sound engineer, 
um, and uh, this will help you to mix. It, 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 a lot of it, it it's just a, uh, something that takes the fatigue um, out of your ears. If, you, if you're spending hours and hours and hours and hours uh, doing that, you could flip it out of phase, um, you know, continue to do mixing or whatever, flip it back onto phase, um, and uh, it's just something that, uh, that would help with that. It's also something that, uh, you know, mostly uh, music engineers will use, uh, not necessarily podcasting. A lot of podcasting is done in mono uh, because it's spoken word and it's usually straight up the middle. So I'm not sure that I would be uh, using it that often. But you can see these things do, you know, kind of coil in on themselves like so. So you have that kind of, that kind of versatility if you want it to get into a smaller uh, sort of compact look. Uh, but these are fantastic headphones. And uh, as always, I hope this helps you.